Hello, radio control airplane hobbyists. Um, got an issue here that I wanted to discuss. Uh, I bought recently bought a new uh, FlySky i6X radio, and I got this thing for a receiver. It does not have any place to plug a servo in. It does give you this wiring harness but the connectors are all wrong you can't plug a servo in and they only have one wire the signal wire so you'd have to wire a separate uh, bus to plug them into to get your three functions uh, three wires that you need for a servo i fly radio control planes warbirds specifically and this situation will work fine i presume for a, a drone but not for a radio control airplane and some of us still do that so what are you to do throw this thing away well you could buy one of these and then use that right and if you use a the fly sky 6x uh, you can then uh, be able to if you set the transmitter up properly you can have 10 channels on the fly sky i6 x using this uh, fs at 1a 1a 10b receiver and you don't have to put it in ppm motor i bus you uh, just have, leave your radio in the uh, pwm uh, mode and it will work just fine. Uh, so what do we do with this again? Well, uh, there is available help and that is this this card right here and uh, if you plug in the out the PPM output into the second slot over and you run your uh, your speed control BEC into the third pin pen set then you will have uh, that'll power this as well as the servos and I will demonstrate that by turning the radio on and what I have is just three servos but one of them is in the number one position and that's here this one is in three because that's where the throttle goes and then this one is in number seven slot so let me turn on my little i6 this is an i6 that I have just uh, uh, flashed up to uh, new firmware uh, and and it will work uh, it has been flashed to the 10 channel mode and let's see we don't need to go well I'll demonstrate that on display and there are your 10 channels and you can see uh, if I work number seven you see it working and if I work number one it works that one so we've got it on we just need to turn on to plug in the uh, ESC for the airplane and you see that the two red lights the one on, the one on this receiver and the one on the converter board uh, are both on and I'll, I'll uh, work this one servo and here's the other one and I will work number seven first hmm. or was it eight? Oh, it's number eight excuse me and then I'll work number one so you can see that I have a full eight channels this is an eight channel receiver I've tried the adapter using a FSIA 6B and I only get six channels that way I don't get the 10 I have to go all the way to the I10B uh, A10B to get the uh, full 10 channels that the receiver or the transmitter is now operating on so and it doesn't have to be a, a B it can be a IA 10 not be an A so 
uh, you don't have to get the newer 10B. And that concludes the recording. I just thought I would uh, put that information out for those of you who have come up with this screwball receiver, at least for an airplane, and trying to figure out how to make it work. By the way, this this circuit card is uh, costs $9.95. So, and here is the packaging that came with it. Uh, R-M-I-L-E-C. And it's the... Uh, three-in-one signal adapter um, but that is $9.95 uh, and then you pay shipping so you might as well just just get this receiver and and put this other receiver away until you have a drone uh, if you don't have any drones drones must be selling about a hundred to one to airplanes now and that's why the radio would come with a drone receiver rather than an aircraft receiver Thanks. Hope you enjoyed it.